Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change the number of steps that you can either undo or redo. So redo or undo steps in Premiere Pro. Let's get going. The first step here, I've got some footage loaded up and in a sequence and it's just some nice cool little nice footage of a, of a lake and a, and a river kind of stuff. Real simple stuff. All good. The next step to change the number of steps is you want to go up to your history panel. So right now I've got a check mark beside history. So if you're not if you're not seeing it, window, make sure there's a check mark behind beside history. When that's the case, now I know that it's open somewhere and for me, history is down here. So I've got it open here, but if you're in the effects uh, workspace, for example, it may be over here. So either way, find the history uh, panel and then go to the hamburger menu left click on it. When you left click on it, you'll see settings. Now you can left click on settings and this allows you to change the number of history states. It defaults to 32, but as a lot of you probably are guessing, you might want more states than that, especially if you're doing some very, very complicated edits. Uh, I set it to 100 and especially if you're a Photoshop user, you know how important it is to have the ability to go forward and backward in history states or states, so to speak. So. Now looking under history, here are all the things that I've done to this. And if I wanted to go back to say something like the lift and overwrite, I can left click on that and then it will go backwards in time and it will then gray out all the other effects that came after it. So that's how you do it. Commander control Z of course as well to move forward or move backwards one state at a time. But that's how you change the states guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.